Hello everybody, how are you all doing? I hope everyone is safe, healthy and positive at their home. Myself Seema from eScholastic. So today's topic in science is taken from class 6. So friends, today's topic is separation of substance. Now let's understand what is separation of substance and various methods that we use for the separation of substances going to the method first let's start and we need to understand what is separation of substance what do we understand by separation of substances so the separation of substance is a process in which one substance is separated from the other in a mixture when we have a mixture of two or more substances and we need to separate them or we need to divide these substances into their individual from a mixture this process is called as separation for example in the image we can see we have a mixture of iron and sulfur in a bowl and we need to separate iron and sulfur we need to separate iron from sulfur as magnet is the one to which the iron fillings attract we use the magnet to attract the iron fillings and hence the irons are separated separated from the sulfur so this is one of the method that we can use when we want to separate any mixture having iron in it coming to the method of separation of substances let's try to understand what are the various method of separation of substances that we see around and we can use in our daily life starting out with hand picking threshing winnowing sieving filtration we are going to study all of these methods in detail in our next slide starting out with hand picking Hand picking is a method to remove slightly larger impurities like pieces of dirt, stone and husk from wheat, rice and pulses by hand. So we can see that hand picking is majorly a manual mode of method which is used to separate the substance or cleaning of any substance. This process is used in cleaning of grains like wheat rice and pulses and in this we use our hand because the impurities are majorly larger in size and they are dirt stone and husk which can be easily picked up by our hand now let's try to understand what is threshing what is threshing all about threshing is the process of loosening the edible part of grain from the shaft to which it is attached it is again a manual mode of method which is used to separate the edible part in this the shaft is being beaten on the hard surface because of which the edible part get detached and we can easily we can easily get the edible grains separated we can see these kind of method majorly in the remote areas for cleaning the grain Winnowing. What is winnowing? Let's see. Winnowing is the process of separation of the heavier component from the lighter components of a mixture by wind or by blowing air. Again, this is also a manual mode where we use the wind or where the wind is being or the air is being blown. Here, the lighter components because of the air gets flown away and the heavier grain particles get down or drop down on the surface this is again the method which is used to clean the grains sieving sieving is the process of separation which allows the fine particles to pass through the hole in the sieve while the bigger impurities remain on the sieve Sieving is very common example we can see in our homes. While preparing the dove, wheat dove, we need to clean the wheat flour and for this we use the 
इंस्ट्रूमेंट और वी यूज द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ सीविंग बाय व्हिच वी पुट द वीट फ्लावर ऑन द सीव एंड द इंप्योरिटीज आर स्टे आर स्टे बैक ऑन द सीव एंड द फाइन पार्टिकल इज पासिंग थ्रू द होल Here comes the filtration. What is filtration all about? Filtration is the process of separating solid particles from a liquid by passing through a filter or pores of filter paper. It is again the process that we can see in our home. The simple filtration process that we see is the preparation of tea. After preparing the tea, when we pour tea in a cup, we use the strainer. The impurities are retain back on the strainer and we get the tea in the cup and for this at many a places or at many a times the separating particles are solid particles so we use the filter or pores of filter paper this process is majorly used to clean the or to purify the liquid mixtures wherever we have the liquid mixture we use this process as the mode of separation so that's all for the day students now do the quick recap what is what all things we have learned today we have learned about the separation of substances that is we got to know what is the separation of substances mean or how we can define it it is the process by which we divide or we separate one substance from the other substance in a mixture and we also studied about the various methods of separation like hand picking winnowing threshing filtration and sieving all these all these processes are majorly manual in nature and we can find one or the other around us in our daily life here comes the home assignment it is a very simple one we will be able to do it because it is related to the topic that we have done today it will help us to refresh our uh, learning that we have learned today the question is explain the following terms with at least one example each from our daily life we need to explain the term with the example that we see related to the method of separation that is hand picking filtration and sieving in our daily life it is a very simpler one and we will be able to do and in case if anyone is not able to uh, come is not able to do it is unable to solve it please comment in the comment box so that i can provide you the solution that's all for the day i hope you might have enjoyed this session thank you for watching my video and please do like share and subscribe my channel and if you have any specific topic related to maths and science on which you want me to prepare a video please do comment in the comment box so that i can make it for you until we meet next stay home stay safe thank you